Armadillo. Now, most people don't know this, but armadillos can actually carry leprosy. Luckily, this species doesn't. They're from South America, one of the largest species of armadillo. And unlike most uh, armadillos, they are diurnal. This guy is at the Snake Farm Zoo in Texas. I'm going to put him down. He doesn't look too happy. He's asking you to, I don't know if it's a he or she, it's too young, but this is our new gator and we need help naming it, Man. right? Yeah. So, I don't know. We're not good at naming animals. So I guess you got a surprise. Yeah, man. I got a little special something for her. I'm so flipping excited. <gasps> Happy anniversary. Oh, baby! Look at it! Here yeah, I've got a Mexican beaded lizard. These guys, see how quick they are? If they even touch him, he's... Oh! You don't want to be on the other side of that bite. Because this guy is actually venomous. He's one of the couple monitors that are... Or lizards that are venomous. Um, but there's no type of anti-venom. Um, it won't kill you or anything, but my gosh, you'll definitely wish you were dead. Is he coming in here? Oh. Dramatic. Get out of here. Thank you. Okay. That was a lot. Okay. That's a good share life. <laughs> so I've got a Eurasian eagle out here. These guys, one thing that's really cool about them is they have silent flight, so you will never hear them coming. Another thing is that these little ears actually aren't their ears. Their ears are right underneath. This beautiful ball python um, was donated by a family that their kid went to college. A lot of people don't know, notice or realize that um, 30 years, 25 years is a long time. <laughs> um, so they bought him as a little kid and they're like, great, you can go take him to college with you. The kid's like, let's do it. And then obviously they're like, I can't actually take an animal to college. So they come back to buy the rep uh, give it to the reptile zoo, and then now we have it here on display. Which is cool. 